I think that the best thing about my job is the variety. I mean, everybody knows that television changes every single minute. And if you work like that and you enjoy that and you thrive off that, which I do for all my sins, I find it incredibly rewarding. So um, I think uh, some of the things I love is having a plan A, B, C, D, E, F and G. And we always get to G or, if, or beyond to stay in the, in the role you're in until you really nail it. Don't rush out of it, understand it, try loads of different types of programmes within that role and envisage yourself in the role above. So if you're a re researcher, envisage yourself in the AP role. Once you nail that, move on into that and deliver it. Top tips for a good food series is make the food, it's just, it seems obvious, but make the food what people want to eat. Don't try to be too adventurous. Keep it within everybody's spectrum of availability. Make sure then you're not doing scallops that are from X, Y, Z all over here. You need something that people can do. Uh, the other thing is never, ever, ever forget to do the close-ups of the food. Close-ups of the food are your joys in the edit. They are the money shots, let's say, the food porn. You need the drip of the chocolate, you need the slice of the cake, you need it to fall into the plate, you need the sizzle, the cut, the burn, the splash. All of that is what you are looking for. That's your GVs, that's your joy. Um, and I think making it very clear, don't lose a step of the process. You have to keep an eye on, you have to know exactly the recipe, exactly the process, understand it before you go into it. Don't just go, oh, it's all going to be clear because you'll end up having to do lots of passes. But if you want to just do one clear pass, make sure you understand the recipe, the food, and exactly what that chef in front of you is going to be doing next.